path forward from coronavirus includes a return to class for many local students. One way Baldwin County plans to prevent the spread of the virus is by using thermal cameras at every school. NBC 15's James Gordon shows us how those cameras work. Wearing a mask is required in this facility. Thermal cameras are designed to track temperatures and the use of face coverings at a rate of 30 people per second. Large corporations like meat processing plants and Las Vegas casinos are using them. Your temperature appears to be abnormal. Now in Baldwin County, this version of the thermal camera is being installed at 48 different schools, up to three cameras per school. Scott Hunter with Hunter Security in Daphne says the technology is amazing. You know, just if you imagine the manual labor it would take to take 30 temperatures a second, you know, it, it's almost insurmountable to get kids into a school or to get employees into a factory during a shift change. Schools will likely use the thermal cameras at the beginning of each school day as students and teachers enter the building. I'm giving myself a temperature with this heating pad and the screen will turn red. But the big question when it comes to schools is discretion, especially when singling out a child if they have a temperature. Lindy Hunter, a former school teacher who now works with Hunter Security, is familiar with what amounts to a teacher's code of being discreet. Don't ever want to make that child feel singled out. You don't ever want them to feel like they are singled out. You don't want the other kids to start panicking either. School districts are now consulting with lawyers about what to do if someone registers high. Your temperature appears to be abnormal. Each thermal camera ranges in cost between eight and $9,000. Just over a million dollars total paid for by a state grant. A school district says staying ahead of the virus and being proactive outweighs the price. In Baldwin County, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.